Hey guys, Stitching May here. Just gonna do my April update. I know it's May. I'm behind again. Um, I'm gonna try to get better about that. I, to be honest, got a little disheartened with Floss Tube and I'm over it now. <laughs> and um, so I'm here with my video. Um, I have some whips to show you. I have two new starts to so show you. No finishes to show you. <laughs> Um, some haul, some birthday gifts, and some racks. Um, so bear with me, it's going to be kind of a long video. I'll start with my whips. Um, I'm actually enjoying all of my whips this month. I know a couple months ago I was really upset with 99 bottles and was kind of, you know, done with that. Sorry. Done with that. But I, um... I actually enjoyed it this month. It is my least favorite whip of all the ones I'm doing. I don't know why. It's just I'm not. I, I love it and I'm enjoying it. It's just not my favorite whip. How about that? I'll start with that one because it's on top of the stack. But um, I know last month I think I only had gotten like this bottle done. But I've actually completed a little bit more. I'm not knocking it out like Chelsea and um, Carolyn did. They were doing like, I swear, like six bottles a night. And when I, I spend a week and do about three bottles. Um, but there's my 99. Not a lot of progress on that one. And then I'm going to stick this one in the floor, which is horrible. And then my Mirabilia. Mirabilia. I, I will, by the time I finish this, I may be able to say that name right. But, um, last time I showed you this, I had decided just to stitch the whole two wings together as one piece and then go back and add the back stitching instead of doing each wing. Um, I've actually added in some of the metallics. And this still is one of my very favorite whips. This is my, probably my very favorite whip still. But, um, I never know how long to hold these things up. I always feel awkward holding them. I would never, I wouldn't make it very well as a teacher, I don't think, by holding things up to display for the class. But, um, there's really not a lot to say. I absolutely love this whip, and I'm already looking at the silver dragonfly. Technically, this is not, for those of you that don't know, this is not a Mirabilia. This is actually a Nora Corbett. But I'm counting it as a mirror for my cross stitch stitch along because I want to and well, that's my prerogative. <laughs> okay, and then Starry Night actually got some work done on, I want to call Starry Night a him for some reason, him this month. Um, not a whole bunch, not even a whole page, maybe about half a page. And again, I stitch this one color at a time per page so it may not look like a whole page or a whole half of a page but there's my progress there and again this is i love this whip and just in case because i haven't mentioned it in a while this is by lady bird lady bird ladybug designs and i did purchase the kit and it came with dmc floss i've compared it to my dmc and they are right spot on in fact i've had to replace some DMC in it with DMC and it, it matches up perfect perfectly. But um, you can buy just the chart at Ladybug Designs. So if you're looking for this design, that's where I got it online. They have several different works of art. I think they've also got the, um, there's another one by him that kind of has the same color scheme. I'm horrible and I cannot, I can see the picture right now, but I cannot tell you what the name of the picture is. there my starry night is and one day i will finish this one day and then i've got the one that i started last month for the challenge in cross stitch and discuss too um the spring challenge i don't want to remember what it was called but um it it ran from march 21st until june 21st and this was this pattern came from the cross stitcher magazine um i think i don't I think I told in the last video what, um, not episode, edition it was in. And, um, I did exchange this brown color. It was supposed to be gray, but it didn't show up well on this fabric. And then, um, so I exchanged it to this brown color. 
I've got this whole tree done for one for the first page, and then the second page is only like half a page, and I have about half the leaves done for the first page. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get it done by June the 21st. The deal is, if you finish this by this whip, not this specific whip, whatever whip you chose, by June 21st, you get to, um, you're entered into a drawing, so. I usually don't do well with deadlines, but this, I'm stitching this one over two, and to the best of mine and organic granny's guess is that it is on 32 count, even weave. We discussed this at the last stitchy date we had, so there that is. And then Box of Delight is for this month. Um, I'm going to just hold this up and show it to you, but then I'll show like I did last time and show the, the stitches up close because y'all seem to really like that. Um, now the six on bottom are this month, so don't look at those because they're not completed. I mean, you can, but they're not completed. Which, by the way, this block here for this month is a bear. I've had to have some um, encouragement online <laughs> through um, some friends. But these six, you know, these six here were the last months, and then these six here are this month's. So, but this is it. Whoa, that's the bag. Do not look at the bag. That's horrible. There is the whole project. And like I said, in a few minutes, I will, you know, zoom in and just show, show you the, the, the detail. And then I have two new starts. And, um, like I said, no finishes. I'm a bit ashamed not sticking to my plans at all but that's okay <laughs> i told you guys that i don't stick to plans at all there's a random needle okay um this one is actually part of a haul i got this pattern at the good or this kit rather at the goodwill for 77 cents and my son saw it and had to have it so it's mickey mouse and a choo-choo two of his favorite things well that and the avengers <laughs> but um here is my progress and I did switch this out to a white linen instead of the Ada that came with it because it did have um, fractional stitches a lot of fractional stitches and I'm actually a little high on Mickey's eyes I added a row somewhere so Mickey looks really really surprised but that's okay we like surprised Mickey not a lot of progress that's just one that I kind of work on when nothing else is calling to me and then my other start, oddly enough, is Mickey Mouse as well. Um, I got the, um, it's the Thomas Kincaid um, Disney Dreams, and it's the Fantasia Vigenette. It's just Mickey Mouse standing on the cliff conducting, you know. Um, it's not the entire Fantasia, but I love Mickey Mouse. I love Fantasia. I like the Disney Dreams kits. However, I'm about to make a lot of people angry. I don't, I'm not, the the larger projects with the background look a little too pixelated to me. And it seems to take away from the Disney itself. I think they are beautiful. They are beautiful. They are, when they're done, they are great pieces of art. And I commend anybody that has finished them. And I love to watch them finished. They're just not something that I think I would hang in my home and I don't want to spend that much time on a project to not display it. That's it. It's nothing against them at all. It's just not my cup of tea. Like I don't like the big eyed little girls or whatever from heaven and earth. It's nothing against them. I think they're pretty odd to see other people do them. Just not my cup of tea. <laughs> anyway, so I chose to do the little bitty Mickey and this is all I've got done. This was part of a sale on um, Cross Stitch and Discuss as well, actually. And um, it's one that you could start. There's no deadline as long as you start it on the same day. So I threw in some stitches the other day while we were at my in-law's house. I got one complete color done. That color is completely done in the whole project. And um, I did stick to the Ada on this one. It does have some fractional stitches, but... It's just around kind of the edge of Mickey. They make sense where they are, so I think it'll be okay. I may regret that decision later, but as of now, it's fine. <laughs> but there we go. And who knows, once I stitch one of these, I may change my mind as the background. Because I have to admit, the more I stitch on this, the more I'm liking the pattern and liking the background. So, 
We'll see. It may just be the pictures that I see. You know, the pictures may not do the project justice. So, who knows? But that's it. Two little pink clouds. Okay, so here's kind of the up close of the Box of Delights. Um, these three, or six here rather, can't count, were last month's designs um, for March. These six were April's, and these six will be May's. Um, so here are the six for for um, April. There's this one. It's got um, kind of, it depends on how you look at it. There are so many things that kind of take prominence. You can either look the, at these like circles and squares and diamonds, or then there's also crosses with boxes between them. Um, they do have some metallic in them. And then there's this one. I think this one will have some beading in it before it's done. There's this one. Just a very simple pattern. I loved this one. This one was very easy to do. A lot of arrows. And then this one with more metallic. And I've noticed that as I do more metallic, the color in the metallic is starting to show up. So I'm liking that. I was kind of worried about that at one point not showing up enough. And then this one kind of reminds me of a wave. And then I call this one the tic-tac-toe because it's got X's and O's and squares. But that's surely it. Um, this is this month's. I haven't done the metallic yet. I finished these two in the car yesterday. We had an appointment um, for my son um, about two and a half hours away. So I worked on that and we were stuck in traffic for a while. And I've been doing this one, oh my goodness, this one's been a bear and a half. But I will talk more about these, you know, next month. But then there's the whole design. Oh, is it going to clear up? It's not going to clear up because my camera is horrible. But there's the whole design. Okay, so now that I've shown you Box of Delights, or the details of Box of Delights, I'm going to show you my haul and my birthday stuff and my racks. Um, I'll start kind of with my birthday stuff. Um, I did get a Lowry stand for my husband. Complete surprise. Didn't, well, not complete surprise. I was not expecting to get the Lowry, friend, Lowry stand frame at all. Um... However, I'm a little OCD about my PayPal account, and he purchased it using our PayPal account, and I have the notifications coming to my phone. So I was sitting at home, and all of a sudden it blurbed that this money had been spent, and I was like, okay, I didn't spend that money. So then I, I had just recently purchased a sale, like a dollar pattern for my sister on um, on. A site that I had never heard of so when it flipped up there it was like the next day I was like oh my gosh I knew better than the purchase from that site I've been hacked I panicked and then I looked up the site it didn't say so and so it said it named another company so I googled that company and it took me back to the so-and-so page so then I was like oh no I know what it got me that was from him and I know what it got me I didn't tell him initially, however, when the package came, I'm not good at lying. Not at all good at lying. So he completely knew that I knew. And it just, it's kind of a funny story now. But I tried so hard not to let him know, but I'm not a good liar. So, and he knows me too well. Gosh, we've been together now for going on 15 years. So he knows when I'm lying. Um, but anyway, I got the Lowry frame. Um, I haven't planned to show you guys because I know there are so many videos out there of the Lowry frame. Um, I did get the corner clamp and it does hold my millennium frame for those of you wondering if the corner clamp will hold the, the millennium frame. Now mine is the shorter millennium frame. Mine's not the really long millennium frame. If you guys want to see a video of the millennium and how I get it to hold, wait, sorry, the Lowry and how I get it to hold my millennium frame, let me know and I'll be glad to show a video. I just don't want to bore you with the Lowry frame if you've already seen the other five Lowry frame videos out there. So, then I will go on to my other birthday gift was from my friend Ildi. As you guys know her probably from Cross Stitch and Discuss. She sent me some tea, um, which has already been consumed for the most part. And then some of it and is in my locker at work because that's usually where I drink my teas at work. But she also sent me this beautiful, 
very nice. It's um, the Butterfly Meadows by Lennox pattern set. And this is the Dragonfly Cup. And you see this guy, this really, really pretty dragonfly. I don't know if you can see it or not on camera. But this is so perfect. And I've not drank out of it yet because I'm afraid I'll break it. It's got the matching plate. It's beautiful, beautiful. But I'm scared to death that I'm gonna break it. So um, I haven't used it yet. So, cause usually I probably won't use this until my son's asleep because I don't want him to break it. And then by then usually most of my cat, I need to get some, uh, bring some of the caffeine free tea back home from work and try it with that. That way I can drink it at night in my fancy cup. There's just something that makes you feel proper about drinking, you know, tea from a pretty china cup. But I was very appreciative of that. And then she got turned me on to a wonderful addiction called the Republic of Tea. She sent me some Downton Abbey tea which is English Rose, and that's the caffeine free tea, and oh my gosh, it is so good. And then some ginger peach tea, which also is very good, it's caffeine free too. I, I need to reverse them, I have my caffeine tea at the house, and I have my caffeine free tea at work, I need to reverse them, you know, because I need the caffeine at work. But, oh, the tea is so good, and it had a sample of a high calf tea, which is um, like it's got more caffeine in it than a cup of coffee, because I'm not a coffee drinker. And um, it was a cinnamon toast, and it was a very good, very good tea. But that was, oh, and then I got money for my birthday from several family members, which now is sitting, like, waiting to be spent, but I can't decide what to spend it on. It, it always works that way, that let it be my own money, and, or, like, budget money that I've budgeted for stitching, and it goes just like that. However, you give me birthday money, and nothing is special enough for me to buy it with, so I'm always like, oh, just not worth that just not worth that and then I don't buy a lot of stuff after that you know because I'm like why did I, I need to be spending my birthday money instead of my own money so anyway it's just this big circle <laughs> however I um, did get a little bit of haul stuff most of it was on sale so um, but I'm gonna start with my and most of the haul was before my actual birthday so I guess that doesn't really count I'm going to start with my racks and show you some of the racks that I got. This pattern was actually racked to me a while back ago by, uh, I don't know if she wants her name to be said. I, I won't put her name out there. She knows who she is. But she was from, she's from the group Cross Stitch is Fun and she messaged me and wanted to rack me at Heaven and Earth when they were on sale. That's how long ago this was. I just have not had printer ink or printer paper in order to print it out. So I've not shown it. But now I have in ink and paper, as you can see. And it is the Blue Daisy. The artwork, artwork is by Joe Lynch. And it was designed by Michelle Said. And I don't think it's going to be too, too hard to stitch. I said that about Sorry Night 2, though, when you see where I'm at. Um, the finish design will be 198 by 135. And they actually has some um, big blocks of color. You know, it's not all confetti stitching. I'm sure it has its share, but I probably will not start this until starting night is done because I don't know if I can have, well, counting the little, the small uh, Mickey Mouse, that would be three wall-to-wall -wall stitches. So I don't think I can ha handle that. <laughs> but there that is. I absolutely love this pattern. And my kitchen is done in blue and daisy. So whenever I do finish this, it will go up in my kitchen. And then um, I was also wrapped with some patterns from Emma. Emma, as so you guys know, is Jellicles Forever. Um, she, I had seen some pattern. I saw a pattern. I, I don't know if it's considered. I'm calling it a rack because I saw some um, patterns that I sent her that I thought she would like, and then um, with no expected anything in return, and then she sent me some things in return. She made this card for me. It's got butterflies on it and daisies. How perfect is that? Or I'm calling them daisies. Yeah, daisies. With rhinestones, she's amazing. I wish I could make stuff like this. I can't, that's why I cross stitch. I'm sure that will get, make some people mad that I said that I'm, anyway. <laughs> um, but I can't make this kind of stuff. I wish I could. And I think this is very, very beautiful. 
the card is like amazing to me. I just haven't looked at the card for forever. And she wrote a really nice note, but I won't read that to you because that's for me. <laughs> and she sent me this hearts in hand um, Easter sample, Easter sampler. And it's even got the linen and the buttons with it. I think that's so cute. And then she sent me this charming welcomes one because I'm obsessed with welcomes. And these are so pretty. I like that they go this way. And then they're like season. But there's a Christmas one, a spring one, a fall one, and a winter one. And then like one for the 4th of July. And then it looks like a lighthouse one. So like you could do one of these for every month, for every season and exchange it out. And then she sent me, now there's a bit of a funny story about this pattern. The Erica, Erica Michaels, um... I'm not sure the pattern designed for kind of cross stitch button seasons and this one here says to everything a season and this one says if the hat fits wear it and then the button pack for that as well oops both button packs for those so the funny story behind this I have been saving up and getting things here and there for a giveaway because I plan to do it an annual giveaway the last one was done near my birthday um, I'll probably do this next one in the next month or so. But this is one of the patterns that I purchased for the giveaway. And I was having this horrible guilt struggle. Because once I got this pattern here, I was like, I kind of want that pattern. I kind of want to keep that pattern for myself. And I didn't know if the person who I purchased this from had any more. So the more I thought about it, the more I was thinking about keeping it for myself which was making me feel very, very guilty. And I did not discuss this with Jellicles. Then I opened up my package that she sent me and there was the pattern. <laughs> so I now have this one for myself and then one to send you guys in the giveaway. So this will be one of the items in my giveaway by Erica Michaels. Um, the reason I fell in love with it is this to everything there is a season. Um, that is, as you know, a popular song. But then also, that is um, a verse from Ecclesiastes in the Bible. And that was read at my uncle's, my mom's, and an aunt's funeral. So it kind of means a lot to me because of that. But there that is. And I absolutely love everything she gave me. And I'm very appreciative of it. So thank you, Jokles. And thank you. I, I don't know if you want me to say your name, so I'm not gonna, but you know who you are. That wrapped me the beautiful um, blue daisy. It's also wrapped by Chelsea. And she sent me this Design Works. I, don't know, I know it's the ABCs of stitching, but is it stitching or needlework? Um, it doesn't say. Anyway, I'm going to call it needlework because it's got applique, buttons, darning, so the ABCs of needlework and it's got cross stitch on there. I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is a pattern that I picked up several times when I've been out and about with my 40% off coupon and then I put it back down and then I pick it up and then I put it back down. But now I don't have to because she sent the kit in its entirety to me. Apparently she was kind of purging some of her stash. And decided to send that this way. And it also came with another little freebie. Where is it? It's in here. Here it is. She sent that as well. A little rose kit or pattern from, it looks like from the cross stitcher. The world of cross stitching. Okay, so thank you, Chelsea, for that. I've been thoroughly spoiled this month with racks and birthday gifts and everything. So, oh, one more thing that I was given, and this one came from Organic Granny. Um, she actually gave this to me. We had another stitchy date. We met, and we went to the cross-stitch end thing, that, the stitching night that I discovered through um, a quilting store in... Um, kind of Marietta area. Um, oddly enough, it's about the same. It's kind of a middle, it's not really middle way, but it's the same distance from each other. So I guess it's kind of a middle way. 
So we met there and we, the store is called Tiny Stitches. Um, we met there, we did, it's a quilting store, but they're doing more cross stitch. We had dinner at, we stitched, we had dinner after and we talked and I had a blast and I cannot wait to do it again next month. So, you know, don't forget next month, organic grain. But she had an extra one of these needle th trolleys that you're supposed to wear your protective eyewear for. And so she passed it along to me because she had two. And I am, I must say, it's going to take me a little while to get used to. I can always see, as clumsy as I am, where the, you know, morning comes in. <laughs> but so um, she just passed that along to me. So, because she had an extra okay. So my camera cut off with me before I could even get to my haul. Um, so now I'll show my haul. Um, so... Some of this was from the thrift store, some of this was not from the thrift store. I'll kind of let you know if it was from the thrift store or not. Um, not a whole lot of stuff. Um, just a lot of little things here and there. Um, a couple things I paid for full price for. Um, I started off, I, and this is in no particular order, literally it's just on the table. Um, I got this from the thrift store. For 99 cents, it is the Four Seasons Book Five by Charles Weiss, Weiss, Weissaki. Um, and it's a dimensions pattern, but it's four little homes with the different seasons. Kind of self-explanatory, but there that is. And then when I was at the stitching with um, Organic Granny, again, I don't know if she wants her real name. I don't know if she's ever said her first name on the video or not. But I was enabled by this Just Cross Stitch magazine. Um, leave it to them that whenever I let the subscription go, they end up having several patterns that I want. However, when I add the subscription, none of them really appealed to me. Just my luck. But I open this up and this very first pattern, which I think you guys have probably already seen on another video, um, called to me because of this dragonfly right here in the middle. Give me a dragonfly pattern or a daisy pattern and I will more than likely buy it because I'm obsessed with dragonflies and daisies. But I absolutely love that dragonfly. I thought he would be a cute little, you know, desk thing. I can do just him or I can do the whole pattern. We'll see. Of course, there are other patterns in there that, you know, that I do like. But that's the one that sold, sold me. Not that one. <laughs> that's the one that sold me. That's the one that sold me on this pattern. Um, okay, another item that I got, not full price, but, um, it wasn't from a thrift store. It was from either the Stash Unload or the Cross Stitch Hunter website. But I had fallen in love with this pattern. It's Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater by Threadbare Creations. Um, it's an out of print piece and, um, there are actually several in a series, but I fell in love with just this one on a random eBay bid for a lot of cross stitch, a lot, not a lot of, a lot of cross stitch patterns. Um, and I fell in love with the pumpkin mainly. It's weird. I always fall in love with one aspect of a chart and I looked for it, looked for it, couldn't find it. And then I found it on that group. So there that is. And of course, it's just the, you know, Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell and then he kept her very well, which is very odd. I may not put that nursery rhyme on there because to me, that's kind of an odd nursery rhyme, especially with me and my son, saying that if, you know, a girl wants to leave, you put her in a, you lock her up in a pumpkin shell and she'll stay there. <laughs> no, a little, um, not liking that. But I do like the pattern for the pumpkin. And um, as far as the stitches go, it's got a great, great um, stitch diagram. I did open it, but I'm not gonna, it's, I can't really show it to you without showing the, the actual pattern itself. But there are several pages of how to stitch the specialty stitches. And then also from these last, these three are um, all from the thrift store. I got a Hardinger book which I've never done Hardinger. I want to learn how to do Hardinger. But, um, so I got this. I don't know if this is a beginner one or not. It looks like it's got plenty of explanations in it. 
and then an ease into Hardinger book. Never done Hardinger. I want to do it, but I've got three books now, so I have no excuse. And then I got this Even Weave Specialty Stitches Pocket Guide. It's got, let's see if I can hear this thing unfold without ripping it. It's got back and front of four pages of how to's on different specialty stitches for Even Weave. So it's got like several types of roads. And I figured if I was going to do these, you know, the actual samplers that this may come in handy if the stitch diagrams on this one and then the Jeanette Douglas you know don't help maybe hopefully the stitches will be in here we might look they're not but just in case and then I got this one as well for 77 cents at the Goodwill and it's just a Pat Rogers counted collection alphabet Afghan and sampler I love that alphabet so apparently it's got an Algerian uh, stitch on here as well and it tells you how to do it and that's it and then today I went to Hobby Lobby because a friend uploaded on her Facebook <laughs> that um, they were marking down some stuff and apparently they are moving they are kind of doing a reset of the needle arts area which is kind of weird to me because it just opened this year but, um, so, apparently when they move their stuff, instead of just taking it down and putting it to the side and putting it back up, they mark down a lot of it on clearance. So, I got, um, some stuff today on clearance that's actually going to somebody else if I can get it to undo. Anyway, um, so, mainly floss and then this little bitty kit. It's called a Kit Craze by Artiste. Um, I'm going to give that to my niece for, I'm going to in that, include that for my niece in her Christmas gift to where maybe she can learn to cross stitch. We'll see. And then I got some variegated floss um, by Artiste. I've never stitched with this floss. Um, I've got a butterfly pattern that I was um, gifted in an exchange a while back ago that I want to do. For my bathroom so I've got some different colors to try for that I've got this set which are blues turquoises and kind of a gray purpley color and these were 83 cents a piece normally a dollar 39 a piece and then I've got and just in case um, this is artiste and this is at my hobby. I don't know if they'll be on sale in any other Hobby Lobby but just in case this number it looks like it was um it's called blue horizon it's got several numbers i don't know which one hl602 maybe it also has 116269 on the front 116269 and then there is this artiste thread also variegated it's got darker blues and purples and light blues this one says it's called romance because that's kind of romance the numbers that I can find here are HL 606 and 122 yeah 1 one two two four two four romance by artiste again 83 cents a piece and last but not least a little more green and just white by artiste it says processed in mexico that's clearly not the name of it where's the name misty seaport is the name of this one one two two three seven four one two two three seven four or h l six zero five okay and then this is a item that i got a while back ago it's an light um portable light 
Um, I had gone to my Hancock Fabrics. I got a 20% off all items, including sale items. And then I got there, and then all their outlights were on sale for 40% off. So I got this for 60% off, essentially. And I paid $19 for it, including tax. But it's the one that just flips up and is, you can also, it's battery operated. <clears throat> it's got one, two, three, four, five. 30 LED lights in it and um, you can make it a plug up light. You can buy the special cord or not. I don't know. It has to be six volt DC cord and then you can use it as a wall plug light. Um, I can't really show you the setup because that's not going to work. Um, I'm hiding that like it's going to blind you through the camera. It's not. But Anyway, I know that the light will just be a bright light. It won't really show anything. But, um, so it's just got, you know, the little dot, the little dot LEDs that some of them have. I don't know if I can get it open without it immediately cutting on enough to show you. Nope. Well, maybe. See the little dots? Little dot lights. If you can see in there or not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Anyway, that's everything for this video. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to be better about posting each month at the last week of the month. I'm not going to guarantee myself for that because um, it's summer here. And um, not that we get outside and play outside a lot right now because of my allergies. And apparently my son has inherited those allergies. Um, or either the pollen's just really bad this year. But um, we do tend to get out and about even just like going places more. And um, then I have a friend that's got a child kind of closer to my son's age who um, her other child will be out of school. So we may be doing more together with them. And um, we've been having some out work, outside work done. Uh, my husband built a deck and then we've been having a trench dug front drain. We're installing a front drain. It's been a nightmare. A lot of work, a lot of hard work for them. We're thankfully, my husband let me convince him to hire somebody to do it because it was a very long, deep, wide ditch that had to be dug in order to get rid of our drainage issue in our backyard. So hopefully that will make our yard more enjoyable um, this summer for my son to where we can get outside and play some more. So I don't know how often I, I'm gonna really try. I, know, I can't promise that my videos won't be late though, but if they are, it's not for lack of trying. But I enjoy seeing you guys' videos. I'm so behind on videos as well. I try to keep up and watch, and I try to comment when I watch them. Um, so if you haven't seen me commenting, it's it's just that I've been busy. It's nothing personal against anybody. But as always, I hope you guys have a great time stitching, and thanks for watching.